What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes Reforged. We are acting to the third episode of season three, The Mandalorian, ending on a very spicy cliffhanger with the Mythosaur. Good one. That was really Good cool. <laughs> Before yep. we get into the reaction, though, if you want to see the uncut reactions for this series and everything else we've been watching, including The Last of Us, which we just finished, go to patreon.com slash Heroes Reforged. Also, check out the Checkskins podcast. A lot of people have been asking us about a review for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. You can find that there. Hector's thoughts about Creed 3. We're going to be doing a lot more movie discussions on there and any other mm -hmm. fun stuff that we want to talk about. So check that and stuff I, out. I, I, I'm looking ahead at this episode. First of all, it's midnight. We did not get super nice little screeners to see this ahead of time. <laughs> it's late. And this episode's an hour long. So I don't want to be hearing uh -huh. anybody saying you left out this part <laughs> of this YouTube edit. It's over on the Patreon. You got the full, uncut, it's there. thick, girthy reaction is over there. So yep. go sign up and go check it out there. I don't want to hear any. You left this part. You left this part. <laughs> this thing's an hour long. This is crazy. He's through. He's through. <laughs> Absolutely true. Uh, you guys uh, ready to jump I'm in? I'm ready. Count us down. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, my oh God. My God. Rogu's like, hey, Papa, you ain't never going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> it was a myth of sword down there. Papa. You bathed in the living waters. You are Mandalorian again. <sighs> Can we leave now? What? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's it? But Papa, we cannot go. The Mythosario is down there. You're not going to acknowledge <laughs> the Mythosaur in the room? Did you see anything alive? Hmm. Alive? Oh, like what? oh, no. Nothing. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. She's playing <laughs> that's close to your best. Are yeah. you playing the role of Joel Miller in this show? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that helmet isn't coming off again. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just did, did he Was just say German? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, to that's Kalamala. cute. Not far. Can you evade them? Our shields aren't gonna hold. I need you to back them off. Oh yeah. Brum, Let's get Mando brum, on that brum, big gun. Brum, brum. There you go. Nice. Where'd they come from? I've scuffed off a lot of Imperial warlords. We tend to get mad when you hijack their ships. Now you tell me. <laughs> Whoops. We need a little N1 support here, guys. Yeah, right? Man, it's so oh, crazy that we have these like, yeah. these, like, high-quality visual effects in this TV show. Their scepters are a lot tougher than TIE Fighters. Are you still up for the transfer? I don't see any other choice. Jesus Lord. Grab the baby. <laughs> yes. He does have his jetpack, right? Okay, yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh shit! I no, forgot my just... jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Lord! Wait, did Grogu go with them? No. Ooh, oh, yeah, ball nice. last yeah. minute. Jumped in that thing. Go, 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 go. Holy shit! Go, 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 go! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn! This is a quick. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. All right, he's in his N1. It's it's go time. Hi. Oh Ooh. damn, he did this in the first season, I think. Doing a little Top Gun maneuver. Nice. Yes. yes. Oh, I bet she's you about this is to. a. This is they're there for the baby. I bet you this is a Doctor Pershing thing. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. They didn't show us that doctor at the beginning for no for reason. Nothing, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, there he there is. There we go. There he is. Ooh. Woo -hoo. Nice. Whoa. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Nice save. Or, That's or when R5 your stomach D4. falls out of your butt right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Oh no. Oh, boy. I'm seeing something on the scope. Oh, oh no. Star Destroyer? What is happening? Oh no. Are they destroying her castle? Her, her castle. Yo. Oh god. No. They're bombing her castle. Those mudscuffers bombed my home. Oh my god. Wow. This mud is all like a, I feel like this is all like a thing to like lure them out. Oh yeah. Oh yep. yeah. This is a trap for sure. Oh, we got a bail. Bo, we've got company. Oh, God. Y'all gotta go. Fuck. Oh, listen my. to me. 
You have to get out of there. Grogu's oh, no, in no, that no, shit. No, 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 go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Jesus, oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> you better hold on to something, R5. That's a lot of ships for an Imperial warlord. I'm sending jump coordinates. To where? Someplace they won't find us. Tatooine. Oh, Nobody ever goes there. Yeah. See. No one Where ever are they goes gonna there. go? Where are they gonna go? Not Navarro. The amnesty program. The amnesty program. There are many of us who had no choice. This guy's full of caca. When I was young, I lost my mother, the person who I admired most. Her heart gave out. Man, Amit Abtahi is a great actor. Thanks to the groundbreaking work of the Kaminoans, we know that cloning can duplicate an individual from a Guys, single I really think Bad Batch is going to tie into this. Yeah, yep. you're right. After everything you've been through, you're just so brave. I'm such an inspiration. I'm so glad you're working for us now. I don't know, man. Jay, he's Jay. I don't like him. Yep. Ooh, mm -mm. His per like, I want to believe him. The Mises Blossoms are in full bloom and oh my, oh my. Uh, eyes on the road? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus That's Lord. like in uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Where are you going? The airport? <laughs> <laughs> Notice the bags. Here we are. Amnesty housing. Please watch your step as you Fool's gonna get vehicle. murdered or something. Yeah, there's something going on with that robot. Welcome to Amnesty Housing. This is G27. M40. G68. <sighs> Ooh. Uh, we know each other. Oh, snap. I didn't expect to see anyone from... Moff Gideon's ship here. I heard he escaped en route to the world. Oh, he escaped. No, that was just the cover story. Uh -oh. I heard they hooked him up to a Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer, Rogue One. Ooh. I try not to think about him anymore. Thanks to the rehabilitation program, I can contribute to the New Republic. Mm, I don't believe you. <laughs> this is, this is like really sad because I, because I want to believe all of them, but I don't know no. who's still no, in bro, it. Hector, Hector, you gotta, Hector, you gotta drop Hector. all that stuff. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Have you taken in the sights on Coruscant, Doctor? No, I, I haven't had the time. I'd be happy to show you around when you do. She's gonna crack this fool's skull mm -hmm. wide open. <laughs> it's not precisely located at our... One moment. I like this little, like, martial arts gi that he's wearing to sleep. I need to get some jammies like that. EJs, yeah, I need some... <sighs> Have you ever heard the R. tale R. of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. R.I.P. Dr. Pershing, dude. This fool's about to die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, bro. Somebody's after you. Uh, don't open that. Oh, no. Oh, close the door. No. Oh, We've seen the door door too many speed. times. <laughs> you call Leia Organa herself right now. You'd be like, uh, I'm not. Oh. Oh, yellow travel Smells biscuits. Like cookies. Somebody Hell at that no. table. He, don't eat those he can't things. trust somebody at that table. Mm -hmm. Another set for archival. I'm happy to do whatever is asked of me. I'm really feeling yeah, like these like... shows are starting to like overlap in a weird yeah. way, even though yeah. they're yeah. completely yeah. different time periods. The fuck were you in Galaxy's like, Edge? What is this? It's <laughs> like Pokemon theme music or something. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like Pokemon. Oh, oh, it's it's I want whatever that is. So I want one. one. They're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be selling that Galaxy's Edge next yeah. week. Yeah. Trillion permanent residents. All these people working together to make something better makes me feel rather insignificant. Uh, no offense to a droid, but not as impressive when a droid can juggle. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you're perfect. Mm -hmm. You're a droid. You've been a Coruscant before? I trained here at the Academy. Not much has changed other than taking down the cogwheels. It did feel different, though. I thought we were doing I just had a crazy thought. What if this Katie O'Brien character is Omega, grown up, putting on an accent? Hmm. In the right hands, our discoveries could have helped a lot of people. So why not continue your research here? Bro, that'd be fucking nuts. I don't think it's something the New Republic I would be interested in. I would lose my mind, dude. <laughs> or she's like a massive villain. <laughs> yeah. That the music is a... The peak of Umate. Is a little... The highest mountain on course. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I'd say it's the only place on the entire surface where you can see the planet itself. Oh, wow. There's also some spots on Coruscant in the High Republic, like books and comics that still have like trees and they still have mm. a little bit of the Coruscant nature poking through. So I guess they must have wiped that out except for this. If I were to pursue my own research. Your previous research involved cloning and genetic engineering. That class of research is especially <laughs> prohibited by the Coruscant Accords. He's, He's going to do, do it because anyway. it's his it's his work, dude. My research. I've been thinking about it. 
I know it's important, and in the hands of the new republic, it can oh, actually be used for God. good. Sounds like you want to continue it. Yo, dude, she's she's a plant. Gideon's going to show up in this episode. You want to help the new republic? They just can't see it yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, dude, Pershing's going to stick around for a minute. I've done a lot of things I'm ashamed of. I have a lot to make up for. But if your research really is as important as you say, mm -mm. I'll take that risk. No, you won't. <laughs> I'll just, uh, just sleep on it. <sighs> She's playing the long. The important question to ask is why? Con. Why are you so mm -hmm. invested in this yeah. guy's personal research? Mm -hmm. Our main why? Is to help the Republic, right? Correct. And that supersedes everything else? It does. He's going to go do secret cloning. He's just, yeah, he just convinced himself to go talk to a homegirl and mm. she's going to get him a secret lab. I do, dude, I do love how this is like, for me, it's enhancing the sort of um, the sequel era because it's showing you like, it's not just as easy as they blew up the second Mobile Death Star. Station. Like mm -hmm. there's Let's go get resources it. involved and politics and ev even, yeah. even right. trying to do an amnesty program, which is so noble and so great. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night? People are going to be in their ways can you rehabilitate everybody? Can you not rehabilitate everybody? Yeah. It's the personal story. That's some How come you sithy point? ass music. Yep. Oh, the music? <sighs> something's something's not right, guys. Oh boy. They can probably track all that. I feel like this is something. Hey, hey, hey what's up, dude? <laughs> what's, what's up, up buddy? I hope we uh -oh. get to work in Star Wars someday, someday, just so we can create an alien that goes, sa, dude. <laughs> uh, bro. I was going to say earlier, it seems like this uh, officer on the right, like she's done this multiple times. So I'm sure okay. if there was a way to Look track at the that patch little she's wearing. Look at the patch she's wearing. Is that still something from the Empire? It's got two red squares and a blue square. That I think would be too risky to be wearing. That's like walking around public with like a Nazi armband. That's yeah. foolish. Yeah. Where are we going? The disposal yards. Mm. The inventory you're cataloging. Imperial ships all have mobile lab stations, right? Imperial. She's very convincing. No, she's not. Have you done this before? <laughs> Where do you think I got the biscuits? Oh God. Bro, I would have. Jumped out of that train uh, with the no parachute. Good ideas. I would have been. Like, oh, I gotta, isn't I gotta the disposal go, yards where home. Palpatine and like where Palpatine operated when uh, like Count Dooku fought Yaddle? Oh. Follow me. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. Oh hell no! Oh, no mm -mm. hell no! Mm -mm. <laughs> That droid's like, I'm two days from retirement. I don't need this. Tong's days. Am I right? <laughs> Just go, dude. Just go. Just go, bro. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's, I mean, I, the train's going to end at a certain point. Now? Like now. And what are you going to do? You're really banking on it stopping? Oh. Jump. No, you're not. You're not going to jump. You're gonna die. Now. Now. On this mattress. <laughs> We're in the mattress okay. section of the jump jet. Okay. <laughs> now approaching mattress district. Just a star destroyer. This is so That's funny. Started. That's yeah, so damn. funny. Jesus. <laughs> they're just like they're like giant boats just docked. Yeah. Yeah. Being salvaged for scrap. Never done anything like this before. Yeah, don't be a dum dum, you dum dum. This is not gonna end well for him. Huh? <laughs> Bro, she's so shady. <laughs> she's showing up to the joint like she owns it. Oh my hey? god. You like my ship? Yep. Ships are all inoperable. No need to guard them. This is shady acres, bro. The lab that he was using in the last season, that was in no, that wasn't that was on Navarro. That was in Correct. the um in like the, the canyons of Navarro. 
I must have passed you on Gideon's ship a hundred times. I'm sorry I never introduced myself. I always thought you were You're cute. <laughs> That's not how things were back then. Now it is. Eliah Kane. Communications officer. Eliah office. Kane. Dr. Penn Pershing. Penn Pershing. That's a great name. It's going to be Moff Gideon sitting on a throne. I... I know, dude. And I want this to just be legit. I want her to just be like a nice lady, no. but oh, no. the sinister no. music. No, it's not on the level. It is going to be like, okay, you're going to do cloning shit or I'm going to kill you. I remember the first time I was in a place like this. I couldn't believe I'd made it. What did you want to be when you grew up? I didn't really have a chance to think about it. Me and my three older clone brothers. I mean, uh, my uh, stepdads. Just the ship settling. That's some dark troopers. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You're you're full of suggest. poodoo, lady. You are full of some poodoo. <laughs> you are laying it on thick. I don't like it. Mm -mm. That was Moff Gideon landing his ship. He's gonna get abducted. <laughs> and Use, using a toilet, flushing, and then that's the pipes in the yep. thing, and now he's gonna show up. Dang, dude. Dang, dude. Just get out of there. Find a little closet to hide out in. I don't know what to it's tell you. Turn damn flashlights. Oh, they're already off the ship. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, turn off the flashlights. Aye. Yep. Chet. Of course. And Mr. Scientist, L-52, raise your hands. You are under arrest. He's been monitored. Yep. They let him get this far. That's messed up, dude. Yep. Raise your hands, L-52. What is going on? Yeah, it was all it was play. by the Republic. Wait, Because uh, no. they had to keep an eye like, on him. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. I thought they were about to be end of episode. Good morning, Doctor. Listen, <laughs> I can explain. I know, Doctor. No need. Amnesty Officer G-68 has already submitted a report. Whoa. That's mm -hmm. diabolical, dude. There you go. No, no, no. I, I think there's been a mistake. Well, I wasn't trying to help you. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to overcome. What? It's smart. It's a non-invasive experimental treatment recently approved for rehabilitation. No, it's a mind flare. Mm. But we found at low voltages, it can be used to help soothe select traumatic memory. This is horrific. You'll see some pleasant colors, uh, hear a light buzzing, huh, and experience a yeah. great sense of relief in no time at all. This doesn't make the New Republic look good at all. No. no they're doing the exact mm. same thing. This device is used to heal. I've been through that's the why, myself. That's fact, why, I found the frankly, quite refreshing. Leia just let me broke off and was, was just part of the me. resistance, which was like an underground thing. Well, only take a moment. I'll be here when you wake up. You don't understand. She brought me there. It was a trap. Don't talk to me about traps. I just wanted to help you. <laughs> You don't think I know what a trap is? Fuck them. you, dude. I'm an expert on traps. You set me up. Well, I'm telling you what my brother how went fucking, through. <laughs> how dare you use that word on me? You're like, I know what a trap is? I thought he was doing so well. You've done the right thing. Thanks. This is, this is wild, dude. You are a real credit to this program. It's nice to know that for every failure, there's a success. Yeah, you're right, Adam. This is, this is making the, the New Republic look shady mm -hmm. acres because... This should offer him some and, and remember, in some of the sequel stuff, they talked about how, like, Leia went to the New Republic and said, they're, they are making the First Order. Yeah. They're building up again. And the New Republic was like, yeah. eh, we can't do anything. Do you mind if I stay? The New Republic's just the Empire, dude. Yes. You're welcome to stay. Yo, she's going to go high voltage on that shit. Oh, she's oh, going yeah. to flay. Kill she's going to flay his mind. Yep. She turned it from a healing device and to the mind flare. My man's she's getting a double, cooked. She's a double agent. He's getting cooked in the comments right now. Yep. <laughs> I'm eating the biscuit. Oh, Ooh. that's fucked up. I'll eat his favorite snackies. She, she's going to reach out to Gideon and be like, it's done. Wow. Oh, now we're back. Okay. <sighs> man. 
to a Mandalorian covert. Ooh. Oh, duh. Oh. They still live by the old ways. Yes, it will go smoother. <laughs> of course. Anyway, watch out for giant alligator turtles yeah. that live right there. <laughs> Is this going to be Favreau's voice or somebody else? Because he didn't voice them in episode one of this season. Oh, he didn't? We'll see. No, he was not credited as the voice, and it didn't sound like him, oh, to be honest. Yeah. It didn't I sound thought like it was Favreau. just, like, augmented. Uh-oh. Jeez. See that little head tilt? That is that is some attitude right there. You were an apostate, did Jaren. No longer. That sounds like John Favreau. I have been to the mines of Mandalore. Impossible. The mines were collapsed in the purge. Yeah, it does. The planet is cursed. It could be somebody else. It's that slight lisp. Your house has fallen from the way. You were both apostates. We have been to the living waters. Here's some I'm water sure that you away. can't can't really test. I bring proof. <laughs> we shall see. Could be Fabs. It could be him. I still can't. It's I definitely it modified is. either way. I think it is because John Favreau has the slightest lisp yeah. on his S's. Pour some of that. Pour some of that Minnetonka water into the armor's bath and see what happens. <laughs> yep, and I think that's to, exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> they do have some tests to see if it's from Legit. Minnetonka. Jinjarin claims to have bathed in the living waters. Is this true? It is. I have proof. This is tense. I was witness. high quality H two O. Fell into the depths and I pulled him out. <laughs> That's some Dathani water you got there. <laughs> it's like fucking battery acid. Yeah. Remember she did this last episode or the first oh, episode? Oh, yeah. Yep. There you go. He speaks the truth. Whoa. These are indeed the living waters. He is redeemed. <laughs> Dinjarin, you are redeemed. This is the way. This is That's the way. cool, dude. I'm getting chills. Yep. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors. She's the convert. You may leave anytime. She'll be you converted. Wish. Welcome, Bo Katan of Clan Is this how Queen. she's gonna like this try to way. try to begin to to unite these people, this fractured Mandalorian people? She was accepted back into into uh, into a clan. <laughs> Paz a Fizzle's clan, like, I'm not about this. He's still unsure. An interesting character because he's always like showing up. Mm -hmm. Tell him. Tell him. Oh, it's looking at you. I saw the mythosaur. You. Also, I saw the mythosaur. <laughs> I saw the no, hell no. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Very interesting okay. episode, dude. Lee Isaac very Chung, director episode. Minari. <laughs> Lots of setup. It's great. God it's exciting. It. Yeah, this really was a setup episode. Like this, this yeah. one, it definitely felt the most like Andor-ish because it's like yeah. really yeah. setting up some like lore. Because now we're also going into an era of this show where. It's no longer it's just the Mandalorian. Evil. It's now mm -hmm. Mandalorian, the Ahsoka series, um, then the one Bad that's batch. coming out with Jude Law. I forget what it's what it's called. Oh, the Skeleton the, Crew. Skeleton Crew. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. like, they could start setting up a lot of things for other future shows that we don't know yet. So, I'm 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 digging this. Like, I feel like now yeah. we're gonna start exploring maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, like what is just happening even in the galaxy as a whole outside of just yeah. Mando's world. Yeah. You and, know what? I feel like the, the tone and the pacing really changed in this episode. Episodes one and two were like super quick, fun adventure, yeah. happy, good times. Right. And then now it's like, this is the heaviness that mm -hmm. we remember. We're in a world where the politics are crazy and Things are happening in which evil is still around and being set up and being institutionalized and just like it's still a crazy Star Wars universe out there. Yeah. With the yeah. mysticism and like the crazy politics of everything happening at the same time, it feels like a well-rounded world again. Like it, the 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 pacing's right, the storytelling's right. We're not just in the crazy adventure Mando world anymore. So, and I think that's kind of good stuff. Man. I think it's kind of important to have that. Because mm -hmm. I think if this show was nothing but following Din Djarin around and not really understanding like what's happening in the greater Star Wars universe, yeah, you yeah. could do it. It would 
it would probably work, yeah. but I feel like maybe it would start to feel a little too repetitive if you're not understanding, like if they're not giving you any context as to what's happening in the greater universe, because stuff is still in motion. Like we're still right. heading towards the force awakens, even though it's like 30 years to 25 mm -hmm. years, things have to still happen in the universe. There's very clearly something being set up because they're hitting the cloning hard. Like they're yeah. really letting yep. us know that cloning is still. Yeah. Well, not necessarily a thing anymore, but the it, fact that. But it's still important in some way. Still, and like, yeah. I think it's inevitable that it's going to tie into Supreme Leader Snoke and the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. resurrection of Palpatine. Like, I think yeah. that's kind of inevitable. Yeah. But I'm interested to see mm -hmm. like what they kind of like bring to it and how right. they really like develop what that is. It's interesting. It's it's. Yeah. I I think it might lean into like you said, Adam. The the uh, sequel stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like just all I, just I, everything that happened during the sequels. So I, I also we'll think that it is really interesting that the the Bad Batch cartoon show is like taking full advantage of the animated format, but it's also mm -hmm. taking advantage of the time period and trying to explain like, okay, at that point, the Empire even that early on is trying to like snuff out all cloning technology because they right. want to be the ones to control it. Already, that mm -hmm. seems like it's a order coming from the very top Palpatine mm -hmm. going, I don't want anybody to be able to, I don't want to see Obi-Wan. I don't want to see mm -hmm. Yoda. Nobody can clone themselves except for me. I want to mm -hmm. be the only one who can essentially live forever. Yeah. And so that's why they wiped out Kamino. They wiped out mm -hmm. that entire facility. They're wiping out clones themselves. They're phasing them out. And I think that that means that that the Katie O'Brien character probably is working for Gideon, who might be working for Palpatine or some connection to Palpatine's right. orders, where it's like maybe before Palpatine comes back, he has these orders in place that will eventually experiment. Maybe like that's how... That's how Snoke first pops up, or maybe that doesn't happen until later. But because we already saw like Snoke fetuses, maybe didn't we see some like early ver proto yeah, versions maybe. of some yeah, Snoke and stuff? Something. Maybe it was something. something. But it was something. Yeah. The 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 notion of of always trying to get this baby Yoda species Grogu thing because it's so powerful in the Force, and that's what Palpatine wants that power to be inserted into a future cloned body, whatever. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think it's so interesting that the Kitty O'Brien character maybe working from orders from somebody, maybe working on her own, has the orders that are the same as as Palpatine in the Bad Batch, where it's like wipe out cloning. So that's why I think Pershing was taken out this episode. She baited him, she set him up, and it, you know, she's work she's saying she's working for the New Republic, but then when she had asked the New Republic guy to leave, she cranked that yep. sucker up and wiped yep. out Pershing's uh um she's, knowledge she's of the definitely subject. a double agent because so she said that she never introduced herself to him. She yeah. really has no strong ties to him as a person. They never really knew each other. And therefore, there's no motivation there for her by herself to go after this one person. Right. So mm -hmm. she's definitely a double mm -hmm. agent working mm -hmm. for somebody, the Empire or whatever the Empire ish is thing, New Republic thing is, and was told to take this guy out with the Mind Flayer. Crazy. Yeah. To set him up, figure out what he needed to grab from the lab. She took it, gave it to the New Republic so that they could decommission all that, like really, really mm -hmm. destroy it. But also, you know, the New Republic is saying that cloning stuff is is uh, illegal. But what if the New Republic has high ranking officials that were also double agents to the Empire back in the day and they're still loyal right. to Palpatine, the memory of right. Palpatine? They trying to put in the plans. This also goes back to Filoni was such a fan of the expanded universe stuff. The first major novel that had that introduced Thrawn uh, from back in like 1990 or something like started to post Return of the Jedi do the same thing. Say that like, oh, there's a bunch of people mm -hmm. that were loyal to Palpatine, even though Palpatine died, they're mm -hmm. setting stuff up. There was already a clone of like an older Jedi who then like Luke has to go and meet. And it's it's that character that's like shooting lightning out of its fingertips, this old yeah. man on the cover of um of the 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 uh heir to the Timothy empire. Zahn, heir to the empire so it's they're already trying to go back and incorporate cloning stuff even before the attack of the clones and before the mm -hmm. prequels because mm -hmm. of the mention of you fought in the clone wars like it was already embedded in the um in the in the in the origins of star wars so they were trying to go back to that stuff so yeah i i wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to do a version of the heir to the empire where like the the remnants of the empire are like doing this stuff 
all secretive and then they're going to form up and eventually turn into the first order and then eventually the final order. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I keep like, um, it's like feeling like the Bad Batch and the Mandalorian. And I, I have no clue if this yeah, is like, overlap. if this yeah. is planned or if it just right, feels right, like that right. because they just happen to come out when they did. But there feels like there's some like story overlap happening. And it would make sense from the perspective of they're both shows that involve Dave Filoni in some way. Mm -hmm. But then like, are they doing like a writer's room where they're like talking about, well, here's all the events that could happen five years after Return of the Jedi. How can we use Bad Batch to maybe set up like some ideas or concepts that we can carry over? But it's also like in a completely different part of the timeline. But it's weird that there there feels like there's like this like overlap happening in some ways. And I don't know if that's intentional or not. And like, I don't know if we should be like reading into it or if it's just a happy accident. But like, I feel like I feel like it's too coincidental at this point. Uh, I think you're right, Adam. I mean, both of these are uh, associated with Dave Filoni. um, And I don't think it's an accident. And I I think at this point in the Star Wars storytelling that we're in now, I don't think anything that we're seeing is an accident. I think we're approaching cloning here in Mando for the more mainstream audience. I think the people who are watching The Bad Batch can see a little bit behind the curtains because that has a lot to do with cloning. It's all about cloning and and the end of the clones and the beginning of the stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. And how does all of this kind of fit in? Because why does the Empire still have an interest in cloning? We might know why, because of because of Palpy. Mm-hmm. Um, but who knows? Mm-hmm. Like we still don't know how Moff Gideon plays into all of this because I don't think he's done. Uh we still don't know how this double crossing agent is gonna work into this. We still don't know how it's gonna affect Mando because it's very mm-hmm. clear, like very clear that somebody was after Mando at the beginning. Were they after the baby because he's part of some Yoda cloning process that was in time late in somewhere in the past? Who knows? <laughs> it's crazy. There's a lot of stuff that we still gotta watch. So it's gonna be interesting i'm like especially with it being like an hour-long episode i'm like okay the first two were like you were saying they're kind of these just like space adventures that are very Mm -hmm. similar to Mm -hmm. season one and two but this third episode very much like kind of takes a tonal shift in some ways not to say that the there hasn't been tones like this in previous seasons but especially for being like an hour-long episode i'm like okay we completely diverged and went to a different part of the universe to tell a very specific story yeah it's got to be for a very specific like there's no reason to do it because it doesn't involve mando the man or mando at all so it's gonna pay off somehow Oh, I'm sure it it's will. Got, it's it's going to, but we'll I'm sure see. it's going well, mean, to. I don't think we know gotta, enough about. I have the story. to assume it's going to involve Moff Gideon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but of course, let us know in the comments below what you think. What are your theories? Do you think that there is overlap between the Bad Batch and the Mandalorian? Do you think it's just a happy coincidence, or do you think that they're going to establish some sort of a big story that deals with the clones turning the stormtroopers and then the aftermath of that of what happens to all that cloning technology from Kamino. I think it's really cool that they're diving into this stuff. It's going to be interesting to mm-hmm. see, but let us know. Check out the uncut reactions of the Mandalorian and the Bad Batch. It's on Patreon, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.